this is Kamori, and welcome to another episode of This Week in Cosplay, the show that brings you the latest news from the cosplay community. We have a lot to cover this time, so let's get started. Recently, the games Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon have come out, and there has been a whole bunch of Pokemon stuff all over the internet, and one of those things is that Stella Chu has added to her online store the pendants for the Team Skull members 3D printed if you are working on a Team Skull cosplay. Next up is Arda wigs. Now there's a whole bunch going on with Arda right now. The first is that they are donating a portion of their sales on Mondays in the month of December to charity. The second item on this list is that they have announced the opening for entries in their winter banner contest. If you have a costume that utilizes an art -a wig and are interested in entering, once again, link will be in the description box below. Another contest Arda has announced is that they will be doing a winter, let's see if I got this right, I think it's winter weekly work in progress, I think that's the name of the contest, and it will be showcasing what you've worked on during the week to try and get uh, motivation during the kind of dull months of winter. For those of you who are interested in historical costuming, and those of you who are interested in incorporating historical costuming into your cosplay, Angela Clayton has posted on her blog a whole bunch of historical costuming book reviews. Recently I posted a video talking about the trials and tribulations of fitting a tissue paper pattern back into the envelope that it originally came in. Now, I feel a little bit better about this because McCall's posted a quick little YouTube video showing the process of actually folding that paper and it is mechanized and very impressive and makes me feel a lot better about my humble human self not being able to fit it back in the envelope. For those of you who are going to IkiCon in Texas, Sentai Filmworks has opened up a casting call for cosplayers from a variety of their series to appear at their booth. And lastly, the latest issue of Cosplay Culture Magazine has started to appear on shelves. I got mine at my local Barnes & Noble, but I've heard of people finding them a couple other places. And that is it for this episode of This Week in Cosplay. For more cosplay news, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching!